Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Andreas Furga and Hans Dinza. This game was played in Liechtenstein in 2007. Andreas Furga had white pieces and he started with d4. Hans Dinza played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit, and now Bishop to f5, the Baltic defense. Queen to b3, an Aikido move, kind of a move Steven Seagal would play. Black to move, how to defend the pawn on b7? Hmm? Hans Dinza played e5. Queen takes pawn on b7, knight to d7, saving the rook. White to move. Queen takes pawn on d5. Success for white, from material point of view. Another way to go was knight to c3, and after e takes on d4, knight takes on d5, bishop to d6, knight to f3. This would be better for white, on the long run. And one line goes like this, not the only line. c5, defending the pawn on d4, then e3, d takes on e3, bishop takes on e3, knight to e7, rook to d1. Material is equal, but white has a better position. Back to our game. Play with two white pieces, played the greedy one, and white is two pawns up. Knight for g to f6, attacking the queen. Queen to f3, queen to a5 would be a better move. Back to our game, queen to f3 was played, it is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? This is a very interesting moment of the game, because usually you don't exchange a developed piece for a piece which is not developed. But in this case, play with black pieces had a good reason. Bishop takes, knight on b1 was played. Let's take it back. If bishop to b4 immediately, then bishop to d2, and now if bishop takes on d2, then knight takes on d2. And white is fine. Player with white pieces probably counted on this continuation. But in the game we have a different move. Not bishop to b4 check, but bishop takes knight on b1. Rook takes bishop and now bishop to b4 check. Bishop to d2, bishop takes bishop check. Forcing the white king to go for a walk. King takes bishop. With queens on the board, white king is not in a perfect spot. E takes on d4. E3. White wants to develop his light square bishop. However, rook to d1 would be a better move. And if now black castles kingside, then king to c1. And white king is somewhat safer. Back to our game. E3 was played. This is a bad move, because white king is on the same file with the black queen. Knight to e5, attacking the queen, and suddenly picture looks very bad for white. Queen to f4, d takes on e3, check. King takes pawn on e3. And now, simple chess. Casting kingside, black army is fully mobilized. Knight to f3. The game would last a bit longer after f3. A bit longer. Knight to f3, developing the knight, but the knight came too late in the game. Black played the move and white resigned. The move is... What would you do? The move is knight from e to g4 check and white resigned. One line goes like this. King to e2, rook to e8 check, knight to e5, 
knight takes on e5, rook to d1, knight takes on c4, discover, check, king to f3, queen takes rook, check, king to g3, knight to h5, check, fork in the king and the queen. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.